Todd Perkins here. Welcome to another episode of All Things Adobe, the Chad and Todd podcast. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about migrating from ActionScript 1.0 or ActionScript 2.0 to ActionScript 3.0. One of the most important things to understand when you're migrating to ActionScript 3.0 is how events work. It's completely different from ActionScript 1.0 or ActionScript 2.0. So let's take a look at how it works. In this file, I have a button on the stage. It's an instance of a, a button symbol that I created. It's very simple. And I gave it an instance name and the property inspector of event underscore btn. Remember that whenever you're going to communicate to an object using ActionScript, you need to give that object an instance name. Let's go to the first keyframe in the Actions layer and open up the Actions panel. You can choose Window Actions to do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the, the name of the button first, which is event underscore btn. And then I'm going to type a dot. And you see that code ending comes up for me. If you end any button symbol, instance name with underscore btn, Flash recognizes that as a button when you type it in your code, and so you get code hinting. So if you don't get any code hinting, it's just because you might have named your button differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type add event listener with capital E and a capital L. And what this is doing is telling Flash to make the event button listen or to wait for an event to happen. And what do I mean by events like a mouse click or something that happens, like a file finishes loading or something like that. So we're telling Flash to make this button listen for an event. Now anything that has to do with the mouse, like a mouse click or rollover, rollout, etc., is held in a class called the mouse event class. So the first thing we're going to do inside of the parentheses here after add event listener is type mouse event with capital M for mouse, capital E for event. So that's what you're going to do anytime you're going to do some kind of a mouse event. Then type a dot, and all the event names are in all caps. So if I want a mouse click, I'm going to find click from the drop down menu in all caps, I'm going to double click it. So I'm telling Flash now that to make this event button wait for a mouse click. So I'm going to type a comma and a space. And then what I'm going to do is tell Flash to run a function. So if you're coming from ActionScript 1.0 or 2.0, you're probably familiar with functions. A function is just a block of code. And so what we do is just tell Flash what function we want to run when the button gets clicked or when this event, mouse event dot click happens. So I'm going to type button clicked with a capital C. I'm going to close out the parentheses and type a semicolon. So that's step one. We've got to tell Flash that this button is waiting for a mouse click. When that button gets clicked on, we're going to run this function called button clicked. Now we haven't defined that yet, so we'll define it right now. Let's go down a few lines and type function space button clicked capital C open parenthesis then we'll type event all lowercase colon mouse event with capital M capital E close out the parentheses type colon void all lowercase and action script 2.0 void had an uppercase V make some curly braces so an open and close curly braces and put your cursor in between the curly braces let's talk about what's happening here the main thing is that this is just a regular function except for this part that I've highlighted here, this event colon mouse event. This event represents the event that happens when the button gets clicked. So when this event happens, or when the button gets clicked, the function runs and information about the event that triggered that function comes into the function and is usable by that function. So we need to give it a name, so I just called it event, which is just a generic name. Typed colon, and then mouse event. So the data type for that event is mouse event. So in the curly braces here, you type in whatever you want to happen when the button gets clicked. What I'm going to do is just keep it real simple. I'm going to type trace, and trace is a built-in flash function that makes a message appear in the output window. So it's really good for testing and debugging your code. So I'm going to type an open parenthesis, and I'm going to type uh, some an open quote, I'm going to type an open quote, and then I'm going to type some message. Type button was clicked. And of course, an exclamation point. Close out the quotes, close out the parentheses, and then type a semicolon. So what's going to, what should happen when we test the movie at this point is we should be able to click on the button and see a message in the output window that says button was clicked. Command return on the Mac, control enter on the PC to test the movie, click on the events button, then you get button was clicked in the output window. So again, when you're working with events, stick. 
So again, when you're working with events in ActionScript 3.0, you need to make an Take your object that's going to be listening for an event. In this case, it's event underscore btn. You need to add an event listener to it. Then you put the event type in parentheses first. And then you tell Flash what function is going to run when that event happens. Then you need to define that function. It's just that simple. Now you still may feel like you don't know everything about ActionScript 3.0 if you're coming from ActionScript 1.0 or ActionScript 2.0. So let me give you a sweet reference here. It's called ActionScript 2.0. 2.0 migration. It's on the Adobe website and it's a great resource for learning what things have changed from ActionScript 2.0 to ActionScript 3.0. The address is livedocs.adobe.com slash flex slash 201 slash langref slash migration.html. So here you can find a good list of all the functions that are in ActionScript 2.0 and how they've transferred to ActionScript 3.0. So have fun. Until next time.